Hi everyone, I just wanted to give 12 reasons or 12 messages on prayer tonight. It's been a while since I've made a uh, video. One of the things that I found when I was making the video is that I was very conscious about um, what I looked like and looking at the wrong things and not being focused on what I wanted to say. Number one, praying audibly. I think that helps me more than anything is when I can pray so that I can hear my voice. And um, hearing my voice lets me know when I have stopped praying and I'm thinking in my mind too much. The second thing that helps me is to um, pray the scriptures, to use the scriptures as... Um, as my um, guide, um, that they become my scripts, I call it. So praying scripture is number two. Praying as soon as I open up my eyes um, in the morning um, is a way that I find is very important for me to um, get into prayer, uh, right? As soon as I open my eyes um, to talk to the Lord, um, let him know that I remember that I belong to him and um, that he is my Lord. Praying before I close my eyes, um, that is another way that I get more prayer time in. I'm praying before I close my eyes. Number five is to pray for and with my children, sometimes randomly, calling them up and asking them, how can I pray for you? Or to, even before that, to ask them, um, you know, tell me something that is going well, and then tell me something that I can pray for you about. Number six is to have a prayer room. If you um, never saw the a movie called War Room, that's to give you a good idea of what I mean about having a prayer room. Uh, my favorite prayer room is my laundry room because it has a treadmill in it. And when I'm walking on the treadmill, I like to pray. Praying my journal is another way that I find is very good to help me to pray. And so I uh, pray my journal. I also keep a kneeling mat um, near my desk um, so that um, I can get on my knees and pray, um, especially when I feel that I'm losing my peace. I'm not peaceful anymore. So I find that that's very helpful to me. Number nine, I find, is having a prayer partner um, I had the privilege of having a prayer partner for almost 20 years, and um, she went to be with the Lord um, before Christmas, and I prayed and I asked the Lord to please send me someone else um, that I could call on a weekly basis and we could pray for each other, and God has given me that. I really encourage you to get a prayer partner. Number 10 is to find um, a good book on prayer. Um, there is a woman, Stormy O'Martin, who has helped me so much with her books on prayers. She has prayers about praying for your children, praying for your husband, praying for your adult children, praying for your grandchildren, um, praying as a woman. All of these things I have done, and I do, and um, I encourage you to get one of her books. They're excellent. When someone comes to your mind, you might try um, kneeling and praying for that person. And then I'm um, sending them a text and tell them that they were on your mind and you prayed for them and you hope they are having an excellent day. Um, and that usually can um, encourage you even more when you see um, a lot of times God prompts us to think of other people. Um, and when we follow through and pray for them, it really works out. 
Number 12 is when um, you're in church or even in a group of people, um, you can think, what, how might I pray for that person and actually write it out. I keep a little notebook and um, that helps me because I can go back over those prayers. So those are my um, 12 tips for prayer. And let me pray even now. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I, I know it's important to encourage one another. And I know that some people are very visual. And even though it's hard for me sometimes to make a video, I know it helps some people. And so I pray that you will help me to get outside of myself and to um and to um go beyond that um i thank you lord i i just want to always end in your word um i know that you have helped me to do this and i've been thinking a lot about what you say in isaiah forty-one thirteen. i am the lord your god i take hold of your right hand and say to you do not fear i will help you all right, I hope um, this has helped you. You take care. God bless you. Bye-bye.